Thank you, Brett, and good evening, everyone. Congratulations to Conchita and Gorin and to the original nine. Surely I would not be standing here as a past president of the USTA were it not for what you all have done over the years. Dennis would be so proud to be in your company, those who are being inducted this weekend. It's an honor to be here in, New York, in Newport to present Dennis Vandermeer for induction to the International Tennis Hall of Fame. I'd like to recognize and welcome Dennis's family and his many friends who have come to share with his wife, Pat Vandermeer, this prestigious recognition of Dennis's lifetime of contributions. Dennis dedicated his life to serving tennis. His love of the sport was apparent in everything he did every day. Dennis recognized how important it was to ensure tennis was accessible to all ages, all genders, and all economic backgrounds. His love for people was very obvious, and people loved Dennis. He was a master at engaging everyone, be it an aspiring young teaching pro or an individual taking a lesson in one of his clinics, as well as coaching a player at the highest level of their game. Speaking of the highest level of their game, I am certain you remember the tennis boom which occurred in the 1970s. It is universally believed the battle of the sexes was the impetus for that tennis boom. And Dennis Vandermeer was courtside coaching Margaret Court and then Billie Jean King as they faced Bobby Riggs. It was phenomenal how those events inspired so many to want to learn to play tennis. With this boom taking place, Dennis recognized the need to have qualified teaching professionals ready to give proper lessons in clinics. He believed there should be a common approach to teaching tennis. And with so many ideas that Dennis had, he also found a solution. In this case, he developed the standard teaching method and established the internationally acclaimed Tennis University course. That course was used to train tennis teachers throughout the world. And in 1979, Dennis purchased the land on Hilton Head Island and founded the Vandermeer Tennis Center. The Tennis Center offered tennis lessons for all ages and abilities, as well as tournaments, camps, and numerous events, including wheelchair tournaments and Special Olympics. Dennis was extremely generous, particularly when it involved teaching juniors. One example. The South Carolina Tennis Association held an all-star camp for the top 10 boys and girls, 12s, 14s, 16s, and 18-year-olds. They did this every spring on a Friday, Saturday, and Sunday for 80 children. When the association needed a new home for the all-star camp, Dennis offered his facility as well as all of his teaching pros, and he invited the teaching pros from throughout the state. Dennis provided the housing, the meals for all attendees at no cost to any parent, to any child, or to the Tennis Association. He and Pat did this every year for 20 years. And if you multiply that, that comes to about 1,600 children that were benefiting from Dennis's generosity. Truly amazing. In 1986, Dennis and Pat founded the Vandermeer Academy, where many elite professionals came to train, including individuals like Grant Stafford, Amanda Kutzer, and many, many others. Dennis was a businessman 
but throughout his career, he never failed to understand how important the people he served were. He returned every single phone call personally and answered every letter written to him. Dennis learned the name of every student and used their name when he addressed them, even in a clinic of 30 or more people. He never forgot a name once he learned it. Just an amazing feat. He always gave of himself and shared his expertise whenever asked. Dennis was a tremendous supporter of the United States Tennis Association. He endorsed and encouraged participation in USTA programs. He was a keynote speaker at the Tennis Teachers Conference held in New York every year and was named faculty emeritus of that event. In closing, it is very clear the genius of Dennis Vandermeer. He was a brilliant coach, a revolutionary in thinking, in his thinking, a true visionary, a mentor to thousands, including myself. He was, as Cliffy said, the teacher of teachers. I could go on and on. But his greatest gift was his love of people and the game of tennis. He is what Hall of Famers are all about, truly an icon. Thank you for your attention.